College Football Week 11 here at SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We're talking right now with featured college football betting analyst at SBR Videos for 2012, Steve from collegefootballwinning.com. Steve, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me, Peter. All right, we're going to talk about the Missouri-Tennessee game right now, and I know I know what your side you're going to say you like here, and I just want to say I completely agree with you. Uh, you know, Tennessee's a three-point home favorite. They were pretty good this year, but they did play a tough schedule, losses to Florida, Georgia, Bama, South Carolina, all the top SEC teams. Now they're playing Missouri, you know, first year in the SEC, and um, it, you know, Tennessee's normally a very good team in November. They've had kind of a disappointing year, tough schedule. Uh, Tennessee minus three, great bet. I completely agree with you, and I am going to be betting it big. Tell us why you like it. That's not what I like. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> that is funny. I, I, it would be miraculous if I could flip you on this one. Let's okay. see if I can. All right, okay. Okay, we have a case of bad offense, mm -hmm. and that's Mizzou, total offense ranked 117th in the FBS, versus extremely bad defense. Tennessee's total defense is ranked 120th against FBS competition this year. For Mizzou, last week against Florida, in the swamp, Florida's fifth-ranked total defense, quarterback James Franklin was back. It was his first full game since September. Mizzou put up more yards on Florida than LSU, South Carolina, Georgia, and Texas A&M with Johnny Football this year. Hmm. In fact, Florida yielded the most yards in the swamp this year to Mizzou last week. Mizzou only lost that game 14-7. And they lost by that touchdown because they turned the ball over four different times. According to head coach Gary Pinkle, quarterback James Franklin has had his best practice of the year this mm. week. So he is back. That Tennessee defense will make any offense look not just good, but great. Yeah. Troy, Alabama, Florida, they all had season highs for total offense. South Carolina, Mississippi State, they had their second best season totals when playing Tennessee. Mizzou's strength of schedule, you alluded to this, it's number two in the country. They have faced seven top 30 defenses, Peter, including three top 10 total defenses. They finally get to face a really horrible defense in Tennessee. Hmm. Some other statistics. Missouri is better than Tennessee in turnover margin, penalties. Missouri leads the nation in forced fumbles. They average more than two every game. Missouri is fourth in the nation and best in the SEC in preventing opponents on third down conversions. They're 12th in the nation in preventing red zone scoring. Tennessee is tied with Hawaii for second to last in the country. Mizzou is 2-1 against the spread in away games this year, while Tennessee is 0-4 against the spread at home. The public, likes, uh, the public is liking Tennessee because, why, they love offenses. So they also like home favorites. They also still believe that Needland Stadium in Tennessee gives Tennessee this prohibitive home field advantage. But we mentioned 0-4 against the spread at home this year. Tennessee is 38.89% against the spread at home under current head coach Derek Dooley. Hmm. We like Mizzou for at least a field goal, and you can even get it at 3.5 if you're anywhere in Nevada. Hmm. All right, for full disclosure, let me tell you uh, maybe one of the reasons why I'm leaning Tennessee. In, uh, in week one, I bet the Tennessee-North uh, Carolina State game pretty big. I bet uh, North Carolina State pretty big on that one. Uh, after kickoff, I went to SBR Forum, and I saw one of the very well-respected uh, college football handicappers there saying that Tennessee was his best bet of that week and saying that Tennessee was going to get an easy uh, win. Needless to say, Tennessee did get an easy win and cover over a North Carolina State. I got burned badly, so I was like, all right. Tennessee's good. I'm going to wait for a spot to bet them. You know, you saw them. They were either a big favorite over bad teams where you didn't want to take them, or they were playing, you know, the top, top SEC team. So I was like, eh. Now I'm seeing them against Missouri. Not sure Missouri's built for the SEC. They're only a three-point favorite. And even if they get into an offensive, you know, back and forth with Missouri, like Missouri used to uh, do in the Big 12, you know, Tennessee does have a big passing game, big receivers. I think they can even beat them in a shootout. So that's why I'm leaning towards Tennessee here. What do you make of all that? I, I don't actually think that Tennessee would beat them in a shootout mm. because Missouri's defense is so good. Mm. And not only that, like I said, Missouri has spent their entire season facing not just good, great defenses. They finally face one of the worst defenses in all of football in Tennessee. Mm. And James Franklin is back and healthy. 
So hmm. statistically, you don't have, we don't have all of James Franklin's numbers for the season going into all of those offensive totals. Hmm. And, and you look at Florida, they're the number five total defense in the country. Last week, they Missouri out not only outgained them, but they far and away had more first downs. They were moving the ball at, away in the swamp against one of the most difficult defenses in the country. Tennessee's the exact opposite of that. The, one of the easiest defenses in the country. All right, well, what about, what about the over then, tough guy? What do you think about the over? Well, you know, if Mizzou gets to play at least part of the game that they want, they are going to be limiting Tennessee score. So Tennessee is not going to look as high-powered. Hmm. All right, so your pick is Missouri. Interesting. We'll see how this turns out, Steve, from collegefootballwinning.com. We will see. Thanks so Have much. Have I convinced you? What would you say? Have I convinced you? No. You might have convinced me to reduce my uh, – well, actually, I haven't bet Tennessee yet, and I think you have convinced me to bet it moderately, very small, and maybe to take a look at the over. Small. But <laughs> other than that, I don't know. We'll see how it turns out. I'm, confu I'm still confused, Steve, from collegefootballwinning.com. I don't know, man. I, at least I added confusion to your life. Yes, you did. Thanks so much.